In this video, we will test several model context protocols that now are available in Copilot Studio as of June 19, 2025. Let's take a look at the list. We see several Office 365 servers such as contact management, email management, and meeting management. We also see some related to Microsoft Dataverse, Dynamics 365 ERP, sales, service, etc. Let's start with how I have created an agent. So the agent has a description. This agent will heavily use tools connected to it, such as various MCP servers and services. In general instructions, I say, think deeply about each user prompt and address it to the best of your ability, involving various MCP servers connected to you where needed. If you look at the knowledge, there are no knowledge sources attached to it. If you look at agents, there are no child or connected agents connected to it as well. If you look at the topics, there are only 13 automatically created topics for custom and nine system. So I have not touched those as well. The only thing that I have added to this agent is these three activated tools. Let's take a look at the first one, email management MCP server. In terms of configuration, I have not done much here except to specify a description. Use this tool when user talks about emails. Make sure you send email preserving which formatting and include any relevant links. Always send a confirmation to a user once task is complete. We said no to ask the end user before running. So that means this tool will be automatically engaged by the agent when appropriate. The authentication used will be based on the user. Under inputs, I have not specified any inputs and you will see the only input that I can provide to this tool is the session ID. And let's take a look at the tools just to get a sense of what this can do for us. It can send email, reply to email, get email, list email, flag email, and forward email. Those are the available tools. Now let's take a look at the content management MCP server. Very similar, even simpler. Same configurations. Description is use this tool when user talks about contacts. Very generic. There are no inputs. And the tools available for the contact management MCP server is get contact, create contact, update contact, and list contact from the folder. And finally, let's take a look at the meeting management MCP server. Even simpler, I did not specify any description. And the tools are get calendars, get calendar view of meetings, get meeting, get room, accept meeting, decline meeting, tentatively accept meeting, update meeting, or create meeting. Let's try to test it. First, I will use a general knowledge of this agent. So I will ask it to generate maybe 10 minute read about latest AI news. You see that agent activated three connected tools. I've already specified the connection and activated it. You may be prompted to do that. And right now it's using general knowledge and gave me this latest AI agent news of 2025 with three different links. Now I will say search for my contact with name Alex. You will see on the left hand side it engages the contact management MCP server and it gives me the summary for Alex Horosh with email. I will then send him an email. Send him the summary. You see that it engages the email management MCP server now and it says that the send email tool has successfully completed. Unfortunately, even though I have provided that prompt to send a confirmation after the task is complete. It doesn't do it in the chat. And you'll see that the original text here is kind of nicely formatted and you have a section for links. But let's take a look at the email itself. So here's the email that the agent sent. Let's take a look at it. It's not that nicely formatted. That's the point. It's hard to read and it includes the links, but they are not hyperlinks. So you see that number one, Here's the ibm.com article, but it's not clickable. So I have to kind of select it, copy, and then paste into my browser. I think this functionality will improve. Uh, I've noticed that these three servers became available literally this week. So I think they will get better. So now let's test the calendar MCP server. I'm going to say create 30 minute calendar event with Alex to discuss AI summary for 9 a.m. You see that it not specify the time zone, neither the day. So let's see how this server will handle this request. Let's turn on our mapping. We'll see that the meeting management MCP server got engaged. It's asking us about the calendar ID, my calendar. What is the time zone? Okay, let's say Eastern time zone. 
The meeting with Alex to discuss AI summary has been successfully scheduled for 9 a.m. to 9.30 on June 20th, 2025. You see, just picked the next available 9 a.m., which is tomorrow. So let's take a look at it. Here's this meeting. It still shows 5 a.m. Interesting. So let's take a look at it. Who's invited? The Alex unknown, so didn't really pick that contact. Let's see myself. I see the subject. Discuss AI summary. Great. I see 9 to 9.30 because it knows it's only 30 minutes. It falls on 9 a.m. in UTC time zone. That's why I think it's 5 a.m. in Eastern. So that's a miss. And of course, the, the contact, it did not really prompt or engage the contact server to get an idea who Alex is. Again, it's only the first iteration of those servers. I've seen them popping up literally this week. So they're quite new. So let's close and let's go back to our Copilot Studio. Let's go back to our tools. And you may have noticed that I have fourth tool added here, but it is turned off. That's the tool that is Dynamics 365 ERP MCP. That one literally showed up today on June 19th, 2025. Uh, what I notice is under tools, I do not see any tools. And uh, under details, it's basically the same setups as for the previous three servers. When I try to enable it, let's do that and save it. And I'll just try it. All right. So maybe that's the ERP MCP server that would allow us to do things inside FNO. So let's say create new render. But when I did that, I noticed that it just threw a message. Well, there is this operation ID. ERP MCP server of connection reference was not found. I think this tool is just not ready yet. If we look at the mapping here, we'd see that it just did not initialize that specific tool. That's why we see that error. That's kind of my experience poking around Copilot Studio, working with different tools. And I also noticed that we have the agent and there are a lot of videos online now that talk about how we can connect various agents together and how we can create those child or lightweight agents that are basically only exist within a specific agent. So that could be an interesting topic for the follow-up video. Very exciting times. A lot of things are going on. We have to keep up. That is all for now. I hope that you found this video useful. Until the next time, take care.